Hello, my friends. Today, I want to read you a little poem of mine that I wrote many years ago when I was still very involved in the self-love and learning it and helping others with it and writing about it and talking about it. So I wrote this poem and it's called Self-Love is Not for Sissies. So please sit down, close your eyes if you want, and just follow along and see if you can relate to it. Self-love is not for sissies. When the bullies upstairs in my silly old mind get loud, obnoxious, and extremely unkind, reminding me that I am not wanted, loved, or even smart, no matter what wisdom resides in my heart. Self-love is for those of us ready to stand strong in the midst of these bullies saying we're wrong. They may look like a somebody outside of ourselves until we learn to love and embrace them as part of ourselves. Self-love is the glue that heals this inner split that projected my deepest fears out, I have to admit, out into the peripheral dualistic view like a blind spot in the mirror, making it look as if I am too, without realizing that actually I am you. Self-love will make it so much clearer in your rear view, inward, and side view mirror, reflecting back to you with love that all is one. As it is below, so it is above. Dear sisters, the resolution to our problems is not all that far. Let's do this together and stop doubting who we are. When we use this love in our beautiful hearts, we will mend all these scared and broken parts. Our love makes us strong and tolerant of this pain. So we'll never fall for that trick again, that we are not capable, powerful, loving, and wise. There is no more need to walk in disguise. Instead, let's walk hand in hand, both inside and out, reminding each other that we are all about. Shine our lights far and wide, solidly resting in our love inside. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.